Hello students, welcome to STEM Works. I am your host Bhuvan Verma. This is a special series recorded by World Robot Olympiad, India National Organizer, India STEM Foundation. Our efforts are supported by National Council of Science Museums, NCSM, to showcase how STEM works for schools. I know you are eagerly looking forward to World Robot Olympiad City event and will be visiting one soon. Now, today we have someone very special for you, an excellent guide, mentor, and STEM champion, Principal Mrs. Nidhi Jain of DPS Firozpur, Punjab. As an academician, her desire is to ensure that all students become confident, capable, and creative. Welcome, Principal Jain, to STEM Works show. How are you? Yeah, I'm fine. Thank you so much. And hello, everyone. I'm so delighted to be the part of this platform. And certainly I'm looking forward to hear more from the children. Thank you for having me here. All right, so diving straight into our students' questions. My students are very curious to know, while they tinker in their laboratories, what are you tinkering with these days? There are various groups which are working in the tinkering lab and they are working on the different kinds of projects. Like one of the group is working on a health app where the patients are being directly connected to the doctors, to the experts, uh, so that they are not uh, wasting time finding the good you know, doctor for the particular kind of uh, disorder and the problem. And then also uh, to have a right amount of conversation. And this saves on time and energy and a right diagnosis also to be done well in time. Another group working on eco-friendly designs. They are just thinking to construct the kind of houses where the various kind of mechanisms are available. These are winters, heat, and these are summers. So uh, coolness is required. They are also working on collision avoiders, depend, uh, looking into the traffic congestion on the roads of India. They are all different kinds of projects and working on. Right. Excellent. Principal Jen, my students, they are very curious to know from you, what are some of the other initiatives that you are undertaking to expose your pupils to STEM education? What is the main thing which is to be done, we not generally emphasize, to bring them into the pre-tinkering stage. Now, what is this pre-tinkering stage? Identify the problem. The foremost is to identify the problem. And if the problem exists, what kind of measures have been taken? All right, if measures have been taken, are they fulfilling the requirements or not? If they are not, then what are the reasons for the failure? Then ultimately leading to a conclusion, this is being done, this is yet to be done. So most important initiative is, I think, more of group discussions, more of platforms where children, they are being given freedom and they are not being judged. Absolutely. Yeah. Students, I hope you are taking note. Such detailed response from Principal Jen. Thank you very much for showing us the path, how to start pre tinkering and to be open to discussion, sharing ideas. That is how we will progress. Wow, so wonderful bonanza for my students. Okay, to our next question then. My students are curious to know, how does STEM education help strengthen implementation of National Education Policy 2020? Absolutely. STEM education, you know, my NEP came into existence. It's still not into the proper execution, but then it is into the existence. STEM education and then from STEM to STEAM and now from STEAM to STREAM. This is the evolution. So it was existing earlier and this is the best approach where projects are being provided, case studies are being dealt with, hands-on. And there is a proper integration of all the subjects. It is not only confined to maths or it is to the science. I think every subject is being involved. This is so complete. It is absolutely complete. And STEMP is providing us that platform. Absolutely. Principal Jain, to our parents also, there is a question which is raised often that why should they prefer STEM schools with integrated STEM, STEAM, STREAM, as you suggested, pedagogy? We cannot compartmentalize the subjects because this is not one subject. Every subject has some amount of other subjects. There's always a co-curricular linkage, always. If we go by NEP, the exact pedagogical approach would be interlinking of the subject and STEM provides this integrated approach into two, in two sense. So if parents are advocating, they are advocating in the right manner. And this is to be done, be it parent, be it educator, be it learner. This is applicable to everyone. And this approach only will take us to the place where we would like to see our children, our future generation, data science and AI. 
plays a very important role. And this STEM is the first step. I mean, it is already an integrated approach. Yes, absolutely. Thank you so much. Not just our parents and students, but fellow teachers and peers will also understand this path that you have illuminated for us. Thank you so much for sparing your time to talk about that. Okay, on to my next questions. My students are curious to know that how will competitions like World Robot Olympiad and others change the students' worldview? Yes, it certainly changes the worldview, you know, the view about because, you know, it is just to come out of the cocoon and experience. It is just about opening up the minds. If we are confined to one place, we are limited to our knowledge. We are limited to gathering the information. But participation itself is an accomplishment. Participation in such kind of events where children that come from different, all across India, then of course going to the international level also is all about opening up of the mind, exposure, which is so very essential. Exposure only leads to the exploration, discovery. I think this should be the, and every child, whenever gets the chance, must participate. Right. Absolutely. Thank you so much, uh, Principal Jain, for sharing these tips and tricks with our student viewers. We hope they will find their moment of meaning in this STEM Works session. This session of STEM Works was curated by India STEM Foundation, the national organizer of World Robot Olympiad in India. World Robot Olympiad, as you all know, is an event for science, technology, education, which brings together students from all across the world and puts them together to assess their problem solving skills through challenging and educational competition. Schools are invited to enter teams of three students to participate in this competition. The competition progresses from preliminary to the final judging stages. Details are in the description below. Till the time we meet again for a, a, another session of STEM works, keep tinkering and sharing this video with your parents and peers.